So James, how has training been this week following the draw against the Adrianians? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, really bright. No injuries uh, so far, thankfully, from the game. So we, we got through that. And, and the lads have been really bright and the trainings went well. Marvin Bartley's a, a new manager in at Queen's South since the last time we played them. I think you would have just crossed over to him, so I don't know how personal you know him, but he's another young manager and you'll know what experiences he's going through and how tough a task it'll be on Saturday. Yeah, we just missed each other at Hibs, but I, I do know Marvin. Um, a lot of respect for him. He's 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 done apprenticeship, or so to speak, with we're doing the, the coaching and assistant manager. Now he, he's out in his own right now. Um, fantastic person, first and foremost, in any dealings I've had with him. And by all accounts, from what I've heard and, and the little things I've seen, that he's a, he's a really good coach. So I'm delighted it's another young manager out there and, and, and doing the job. But hopefully not, not a happy Marvin Bartley on Saturday. But look, it's going to be a really tough game. Since we were down there, We've played them here and they were excellent that day. I thought they, they came and they had a real go at us. And and they're a, they're a dangerous side. And look, I know they, they lost 3 0 to Kelty at the weekend, but for an hour they were well in that game. And and they played some good stuff. Marvin's got them playing a, a bit differently as well, which obviously we're aware of. So it's going to be a really tough game, but it's a game we'll be ready for. And another addition to the squad this week with Paul McGowan. Just talk us through your thoughts on getting that one over the line. I'm delighted. Like when when I got the job, he's a player that that I put to the board straight away. But he, he started the season well at Dundee. Um, it was always going to be a big ask to get him out at the start of the season. And unfortunately for Paul, he picked up an injury and it's taken him a little while. So hence the reason it's it's into February and we've got him. He's, he's now been back. It's, that's now four weeks he's been training. So he's looking sharp. He's looking like he, he was when I had him, and this probably just after this time, or a couple of weeks prior to this time last year, I was playing him in the Premiership, so look, in terms of character, ability, what he brings to the, the training in the dressing room, then he ticks every box with that, and he's outstanding in those those situations. He's vastly experienced, which, which we know, um, having played for so long, and and he's one that, that myself and Dave are very comfortable with as well because that we're, we're comfortable with the relationship we've got with him because we, I've played with him, Dave's coached him, we've both coached and managed him. So, no, but uh, take all that away. He comes in here as a very, very good footballer and and that's what, that's why Paul McGowan's at this club again, thanks to, to the board for doing it and, and the fans for the patience and waiting on it because it's it was one we had been working on and you know how we are very big on character and and what they bring to a dressing room and and he's been in he's been in three days now two days and it's as if he's he's knew them all so he's, he's fit it in really well and I'm looking forward to working with him again. Having just spoken to him, you could tell from the the small snippets he said in his interview that that intelligence, that game knowledge, that nous that he has that he could bring out on the park. So that's that experience that you talk about that maybe we don't have a lot of out there in terms of players of his age and experience. Yeah, we've got, there is a a blend there. Look, we wanted that. We Again, going back to the very start, we were looking at the squad planning and what we were wanting and youthfulness, energy. And we've got that in abundance here. Um, there's a, there's a little group of experienced ones, but we knew we had to add to that. And and that's why Paul was at the very top of the list, because we know him so well. And you talk about his game intelligence, he's, he's now, he's whatever you want, want to say out there. He's, you gain that over, now it might have been in him at the start, but the amount of games he's played and the amount of, he's, been, he's been lucky with injury or he's been... He's not had many injuries, a couple of shoulder operations, a minor knee operation when he was young. Um, so, touch wood, I'm not cursing that. But, no, like, he's one of those players that he wants to train every single day. He demands an intensity from himself, from his teammates. But when you know Paul um, as well as I do, uh, he demands it in the right way. It would be hugely beneficial to Paul Allen, Matty Todd, Chris Hamilton again, who's another young one that we forget because of the, the experience Chris has amassed already. Um, Andrew Todd, 
who's who's been training excellently with us as well. So, and then you add Joe into that. You've got Joe and Paul now that, that can can help with that in the middle of the pitch. We lost one in Graham Dorans earlier in the season that was vastly experienced. So no, Paul comes in, but again, take it all away. Like, he's here for his football and ability. Um, that's why at the very start, and, and that that's top of the list, and uh, are along with character and, and trust that you can put in him. I say, I think one of our first interviews that one of the biggest things I look for in players is can you trust him? He's someone that you can you can trust in any environment, whether it be in front of sixty thousand at Celtic Park or if we did play a bounce game down at Petrivi or Rasaif, then Paul would treat that like he does every training session, every big game, and he's been involved in a lot of them over his career. So no, he's a great addition to the squad on the whole, and, and he'll certainly help this football club. And in terms of team news, you got Paul Allen back into the squad last week, and uh, he'll be looking to, to get back into your, your plans as well. So a lot of competition in the midfield areas now, and from what you said in your first answer, everybody else fully fit as well. Yeah, it's great. Paul Allen's been excellent in the last couple of weeks. He's now... The beliefs here in the in the foot. Um, obviously, the fitness work that he's done is he's topped up with the sharpness of the stuff we've been doing, the individual work we've been doing with him as well. So he's been excellent, and we know how well he done at the start of the season. He was a big part and and a good start to the season before he got unfortunately injured. So he's back. He, he's still in the squad. Yeah, there's no new concerns at the minute. Hopefully that stays away between now and Saturday. But the squad's looking really healthy competition, that's great, that's that's what we want, We're, the squad is healthy, the squad is, is thick all over the pitch now, um, plenty of competition for places but, but that's what it's all about and, and that's what keeps everyone training really hard and, and most importantly just working as hard as you can.